Hey, it's Chime Time, and this is Cooking Avenue, where today we're cooking beef bulgogi. And right over here, we've got some delicious minced garlic that's going to get thrown into this pan after we throw this blend of red onions and uh, shredded beef, not thin beef like traditional bulgogi, but we have some shredded beef. And um, the onions are oyster onions that look delicious. They were super soft. I got so in my face. I really miss Carly so much right now. Um, they look like, like these beautiful bad boys right here. And they are super, super soft. Get up in there. All shroomy, shroomy. Anyway, this pan is getting stupid hot because that's how you want the pan to be for bulgogi. They call it screaming, screaming hot. And first batch is gonna go in there. Ooh, so loud. <laughs> So we want this to be as spread across the pan as possible. We're going to throw more in there. Oh my gosh. It's not even close enough. The smell is super heavenly. You can't even see the food. Okay, we're gonna take it from here. Um, <laughs> that's kind of cool. I'm hoping this comes out on tape. You want to spread it out as much as possible. So there's not any overlap. You want it to dry. Dry out as much as possible. And want the water to come out. It traps the flavor in. If there's like still like a lot of water, the flavor, you know, like you want the water to evaporate because otherwise the juices make the flavor pour out when you have it on your plate. So after that's been in there for like a little while, then we're going to add the, the garlic, but this is what it looks like initially. Got some nice smoke going on. Again, I really hope this films. Ah. Yeah, anyway. I'm Chime Time. This is Cooking Avenue. Hopefully we can see what this looks like later and have a good taste. And we're back. And here is some of the meat. Now you want to totally stir it up. Oh, it's going to get all foggy. But like I said, you want it to dry and even like look like here in the corners, like a little bit dark Bernie, like Bernie Sanders Brown. That is bulgogi, look at all those little twisties, all those oyster mushrooms blended in there. Oh my God, it is so freaking hot right now. It's burning, 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 burning. I, had a, I even had to eat some because there wasn't enough space for this to cook evenly because I have it so packed. All right, here's the damage of all the cleaning that I have to do from all the cooking I've done. And as you can see, plenty of leftovers for tomorrow and my actual meal. Now, this doesn't look entirely healthy, but it's fine, I promise you. Um, it's just like a matter of, there's no vegetables. <laughs> All you see is 
brown. <laughs> so brown. Um, and that's because the vegetables are in there because the vegetables are brown too. You know, they're just marinated with meat and uh, they're just in the form of mushrooms. And mushrooms are exceptionally healthy and um, exceptionally delicious. Yes. Oh no, there's music. I'm gonna get fucking banned from YouTube for cursing as well. <clears throat> it's a good thing I was able to shut that off. So usually, sometimes I don't even eat or drink whatever I'm reviewing with you, but I'm gonna taste it real quick. Airplane. It's so good. As I talk with my mouth full, let me see if I get some, uh, a bit of mushroom. Oh, it looks better on the side. Yeah. Okay, so that's that's what, what it looks like because it doesn't look very shroomy, but it's because I grabbed each mushroom and tore it in half, <laughs> or in several pieces. You want it as stringy as possible for texture reasons. And it's very chewy, like the actual um, beef. So it's a good fake meat and way to trick people. Now, some people are like, oh, you should only eat the substitute because that's vegan or something or another. Uh, but it's healthy for you, <laughs> like the, the substitute, the meat substitute. And it's really good. My mom would never know. And partially that's the marinade. Now, H Mart had this really good um, bulgogi specific marinade, which I'd highly recommend. And last time I cooked without the garlic, throwing in your own freshly minced cut garlic is, is the right way to do it. I always go with garlic hearts. Don't go with the uh, pre-minced or packaged peeled garlic. It's just too expensive, not as good, doesn't last as long. Mm. Don't do that to yourself. This is really good. Long day cooking by myself, but we have plenty of extras. Plenty of leftovers. This is a huge meal. Probably had to go back home. She was vacationing with me for like a little while. A bit of a quarantine vacation. And uh, now I'm just quarantining alone. <laughs> but yeah. Plenty of leftovers. So I'm Chime Time, and this is Cooking Avenue. Live to love, Chime Time.